holy shit. Uh, uh, I'm completely speechless by what I just saw. And this is coming from a person that doesn't consider himself a huge fan of the franchise. I enjoy the franchise. I liked all the movies, including the prequels. But after seeing this trailer, hell, I wasn't even going to talk about the trailer today. But after seeing this trailer, I had the urge to talk to you guys about it. And I know, yes, it's Disney week still, but screw it. Disney bought the rights to Star Wars anyway, so it is now a part of Disney week. But here we go. Let us talk about the new trailer to Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This is without a doubt one of the best trailers I've seen this year. Even better than Age of Ultron. Hell, it makes Age of Ultron feel like it showed too much because they show you just the right amount, the right amount to get you excited, to get you hypothesizing, to make you want to know what's going to happen. They don't even tell you what the story is in this trailer. You have no idea what's about to happen. All you have is speculation. And I think that's what a trailer is supposed to do. It's supposed to make you curious about the film and make you speculate as to what is about to occur. Because this trailer did the job so well. And under a minute and 30 seconds, Again, I'm just so speechless. This was a great trailer. It is so exciting. It is so involved. Everything about the trailer just got me really excited to see Star Wars The, the Force Awakens. I mean, again, I'm not the hugest fan, but after seeing this trailer, I cannot wait to see it. It looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. They really are carrying on with the spirit of the original trilogy. In fact, the original series as a whole. I mean, the trailer is just really good. Let's talk about it. Like, let's go see, like, scene for scene for the trailer. So the trailer first starts off where you see this desert world. I'm guessing it's in Tatooine. And you hear this really dark, ominous voice narrating over everything. And he says, like, something has awoken. And all of a sudden you see this guy get up. He's in a stormtrooper suit. I believe it's John Boyega. And it makes me think, does that mean that John Boyega starts off as a stormtrooper who gets Jedi powers? That's what awoken in him? Like he just like all of a sudden has the powers of the Jedi? Or is he kind of like paying homage to the original Star Wars movie where Luke and Hans disguise themselves as stormtroopers so they hid inside stormtrooper suits? I don't know, but it's very interesting to see this. It feels like he might have already been a stormtrooper trooper then became a Jedi but then you see like this robot rolling on a ball still in the desert world you see this transporter carrying all of these star troopers you see that girl I believe her name is Daisy Ridner. if I got it wrong I apologize I don't know her name on the spot she is an unknown actress but man I think she pulls it off I mean she kind of has this whole Nally Portman feel to her from the prequels and I know a lot of you are gonna shit your pants when I say that but I felt like she fit she fits into this world and that type of motorcycle that she drove was really cool looking and then you see the TIE fighters flying through oh my god it just was like it and it looks amazing like the, tri the TIE fighters looked amazing and I'm probably the best shot in the entire trailer is you see this guy in a black robe he is walking and you hear the voice saying the dark side and then and it's like it's, it's like a, it's a lightsaber and then out on the side pokes these other two like little lights. It looks like a cross and just the way that it crackles and the way that he's standing looks so freaking badass and ominous. That is a freaking Sith Lord right there. I have not seen a cooler like just a cooler entrance of a Sith Lord since Darth Maul in episode one, The Phantom Menace. In fact, his, like that lightsaber in just those few seconds look cooler than the lightsaber of Darth Maul, in my opinion, in my opinion. And then after he says like the dark side, and then he says, and the light, and then swoosh, in comes the Millennium Falcon just soaring in the desert world. And he crosses those, um, I, I don't know what the name of the, Stormtrooper TIE Fighters are, but he flies through them, and all of a sudden, psh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And then when it closes off, you hear like a, the lights ever go, whoosh, talk about epic. That was solid, authentic in every way, shape, or form. I, if I ever gave ratings to trailers, this would be a 5 out of 5. This 
set the tone so perfectly without giving away any plot points, which is traditional of any J.J. Abrams film. He never gives any plot points away in any of his trailers. But it, it's such a good trailer, guys. And I'll put a link to it in the description so you guys can go check it out. And I would love to know, love to know what you guys thought about Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens trailer. I mean, I love it. I'm really excited. I would love to know what you guys think. Comment below and let me know. And then, of course, I still got my Disney Week videos coming out. There's one coming out at 3 o'clock today, so stay tuned for that. Until the next video comes, guys, if you would like to be a part of the Black Critic Crew, please hit that subscribe button, like this video if you're excited to see Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. And I'm Tony Wall II, the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace, YouTube.